Well today we're continuing the theme of finding fractions of amounts. Again, we're going to be using those counters, those bar models, that's going to be really helpful. The thing that I want you to look at today is can you spot the pattern between numbers when you're finding fractions of amounts? What pattern is that? And see how it's the same, or what's the same as multiplication and division and how you need to use those skills and how that relates to this. See if you can see those patterns. Uh, we'll get right into it. Well everyone, I'm enjoying the drawing and I hope it's helping you to see the actual thought process that goes behind doing some calculation. Um, yesterday we were looking at finding fractions of amounts um, and we're going to deepen that thinking today. So first of all, a third of 15. Uh, the answer, more or less than 15? Well, it, it'll be less because what we're doing is we're finding a third, we're splitting 15 into three parts. So here we have the whole. So let's have a look at what that, how that might appear. So there I have got five and... 10, get them the right way around, Gareth, and 15 right here. So if I'm looking at a third of 15, I could think how many threes in 15, or I could get 15 in three equal groups, and both of those ways work. I'm going to go for um, three equal groups, and um, what do I have if I do that correctly? I've got a third of 15 equals five. Um, now, what I wanted to do is think about how we can see related calculations to that. So I know that a third of 15 equals 5, therefore I can work out. Now, let me show you another one. So one third of 15 is 5. So, of course, I know two thirds of 15. Well, that's just one third, so I'll, let's circle two thirds. Um, so that will be 10. Um, now let's see if we can if we can do some others as well. So rather than finding a third of fifteen, let's see if we can find a third of a hundred and fifty. Um, so here I've got ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and forty, hundred and fifty. 150 and I've already got them there in thirds so one third of 150 is 50 and two thirds of 150 um, what's that well that is a hundred and can you see it is ten times more the answer is ten times more of course all kinds of other possibilities that we could have here um, if, if I know one third of 15 is five uh, two thirds of 15 is ten so I would know two thirds of 30 so I'm going to double the 15 to get 30 so I'm going to have to double my answer is 20 so then I would know two thirds of 60 um, and then it's it's double the 30 so that will be 40 and then let's say I could do two thirds of 600 equals 400 so many different possibilities that we could look at let's see if we can put a few of them together how about this one? So a third of 15 is 5. A third of 150 is 50. So if I was doing a third of 165, um, well, I just need to combine those ones there. So it would be 55 because that is a third of 150. That is a third of 15. So 165 is, is 150 add 15. So it must be those two together. 55. So many possibilities. Uh, and again, hopefully seeing the live jottings is super helpful for you. Okay, so as our warm-up, this is your task that you're going to have a go at. A quarter of 28, and then hopefully we're recognising what we're doing. This, this whole of 28, we're splitting it into four pieces, and that gives seven. This is something that we do know, and I'm giving you that one. And I want you to pause the video now and think, well, which other calculations can you work out from knowing that? OK, so find as many as you can. It can be as few or as many as you can come up with. And let's see. And I'll show you some examples as well. Pause the video. Have a go at that now. OK, and let's have a look at some at some possibilities. So uh, one quarter of 28 equals seven. So I guess we could have two quarters of 28. Well, that will be 14. Uh, it's another quarter and then of course three quarters of 28 is 21 it's another lot of seven i guess you could have if you like four quarters of 28 and that would be 28 that would be all four quarters so we'd have that whole 28 that's left um now if we were using our our powers of let's say our multiples of 
uh, understanding the multiples of 10, then we could go for 3 quarters of 280, and that would be then 210. Um, and let's say we could go from that one, and let's say we, we're looking at halving. So I could go for 3 quarters of 140. So I'm halving the amount there, and so I'm going to have to halve this one here. That is 105. Um, so loads of other possibilities that we could have from there. So let's say I was going for, well, I've, I've done a quarter of 28. Um, so if we double 28, so that will give me 56. So I'm going for a quarter of 56. The way I did that, by the way, is I thought double 30 and take away 2 is 28. So 30 take away 2 is 28. So double 30 take away 2 and then another 2 will give me 56. So if I'm going for a quarter of 56, so 56 is double 28. That was a long way of saying that, Gareth. Um, so it will be double this answer here. So we've got 14 there. Loads of different possibilities. Hopefully you found some of them and hopefully it's helped you recap on where we got to from yesterday. So today we're going to extend that thinking that we've been doing around, around finding fractions of amounts. Today it's called Make Six just because one of the tasks involves you making six and doing it in different ways. Um, but again, we'll all be at very different points here. So we've got lots of different tasks for you to go off and do and extend yourself. That next step, that is always today's challenge, whichever the day is. Um, looking forward to today. Uh, yesterday we had a look at this image. So we had a third of 12. So if you said if we had 12 and we need to split 12 into thirds, then we divide 12 by 3, and what do we get? We get 4. And notice 4 here in each section. How many sections? 3 sections. 4 times 3 is 12. Uh, then we had a look at an image, uh, this image here. So we had uh, a quarter of 20 equals 5, and 5 uh, times 4, those 4 quarters, makes the whole 20. Now, I wonder if you can see the pattern that exists between those numbers there, the quarter with the denominator 4, the 20, and then the 5. What's the link here? That's something that we're just about to explore. Now, I've given you a slightly different example. Uh, so this one isn't a quarter of 20 equals 5. Um, see if you can guess what it actually could be. Now, of course, here there's lots of different possible answers, but I wonder if anyone will happen to guess the example that I have chosen. Uh, see if you can come up with different possible answers here. Okay, should we have a look? wonder if anyone's lucky enough to guess it. A quarter of something equals something. A quarter of something equals eight. There. Um, and so what's the, what's the whole amount there? It's a quarter of what that equals eight? It equals 32. Now, if you happen to be lucky enough to guess that first time, first of all, well done for realising that the relationship that if it's a quarter and it's a four, we need to multiply by the eight to make 32. That's great. If you happen to guess this example, tell uh, whoever's looking after you to give you an extra piece of broccoli tonight as a reward. Um, let's have a look at another one. So a third of what number equals what number? Well, what could it be? Pause the video. Okay, let's have a look. A third of what number equals seven? What must the whole be this time? Can you see this link? 21. Again, if you guessed that first time, get an extra piece of cabbage for tea tonight as a bit of a treat. Now, can we spot the pattern here? Slightly different one. So a half of six equals three. Can you see there's six and half six is three. A third of nine equals three. There's nine and a third of nine equals three. Can you see a pattern? Could you continue that pattern? Um, I, I've hidden the bar model so you can't just kind of uh, see them and, and, and work out the answer by seeing them. But equally, you could think, what will the bar model look like there? A quarter of what number equals three? A fifth of what number equals three? And how do you know? Pause the video. Let's have a little look. So a quarter of what number equals three? Well, that three and how many lots of it? If that's one quarter, in total, there must be four threes, four threes, 12, a quarter of 12 equals three. And then a fifth of what number equals three? Well, this three is a fifth, so how many of those threes must we have? That's right, five, uh, five lots of three, 15. Now, for some of you, this is the point now where you're gonna go off to 
to task A, I'm going to explain that in a moment, whereas others will continue if you want that little bit of extra challenge and you'll continue with this video in, uh, in just a moment's time. So what's the same today? Well, to find your independent tasks, you're still clicking on that blue link underneath the video. Um, and task A, this is where you'll stop if you're doing task A. And if you've just started learning about finding fractions of amounts, this is the thing to do now. And again, you can answer most of these questions using objects to break them up if that helps. Um, and then the other question on task A is match the question to the bar model. So which of these questions matches to which of these bar models? Then you can fill the bar model in if it helps you to answer the question. So a quarter of eight equals what? And a quarter of what number equals eight? Which bar model is goes with which question? And use them to help you to finish answering those questions. Now, to really emphasize this, if you're doing task A, that's your task. There isn't a task B, because everyone else, you're going to keep going on the video. Your main task is on the video. However, if you can go any further after that, there is an extend task, which is this one. And there's even an extend to the extend. So if you're feeling super, super brave, uh, you might have a go at this one. Um, and again, you can take that to great depth. I would love to see if anyone manages to get this far. Well done. And please do show me how you get on. I would love to see how you get on if you're working through that task A as well. Love to see all your work. Anyway, um, if you're breaking off the task A, good luck. And we'll see you back tomorrow. Um, and if you're with us um, for the other task, we're going to keep going with keep watching that video. And if you're back with us for this task, here we go. Really looking forward to this one. So here's a question that you can answer in loads of different ways. Um, and you're going to either try and see if you can find an answer or if you can find different answers. And can you spot the pattern? If you can spot the pattern, you're making really great progress. It's really going to help you with this kind of task in the future as well. So what fraction? So it's one over what of what number equals six? So that's what you've got to do. You've got to find different combinations. So what could the denominator be here? And if the denominator is that, what would it make this number here? OK, now you're going to see if you can find different possible answers. We're going to have a look at some as well. If you need a little bit of advice, maybe just start watching just the first bit of some of the worked example, which is coming up in a moment. But otherwise, pause the video and see if you can find any possible answers. Now, it could be you're joining us here just to get a little head start so you can find some different possible answers and that's fine. Or maybe you've already found different possible answers. Let's have a look at them. Can we spot a pattern? Um, so let's have a look at this first example. Example one, one, well, what could that be? How can I finish this uh, number sentence? A half of 12 equals six because there's one of two parts and we know that each part is, is going to be six in this case. So what was the whole be? It's 12. Do you notice something? 2 times 6 equals 12. 2 lots of 6 equals 12. Um, let's have a look at another one. Example 2. I wonder if you're starting to spot a pattern here. What's this one? Here it is split into thirds. One third of 18 equals 6. So we know that we're left with a part of, of 6 and it's one of this time three parts. So 6 and 6 and 6. 6 times 3, 18. Done a slightly more challenging one here. Well, a slightly larger number here uh, or a number of parts. So the fraction this time is a ninth is six. So if, the, if a ninth it, it leaves us with six, it must have been 54. How come? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sixes. Um, so a ninth of 54. Split 54 into nine pieces. That will leave me with six. Um, you will have found different possible answers. The way to check them is looking at the denominator of the fraction multiplied by six should make the number that goes in here in your examples there. Now, if you want, that was our main task. If you want to have a go and extend task, it is there in the in the tasks as I described earlier. Um, otherwise, fabulous having you joining in. Make sure you're back tomorrow. Uh, it's, it's wonderful. I think this is really helping you, really challenging, really moving you on. Good job. See you tomorrow.